Colossians 2 verse 7, keep your roots deep in him and have your lives built on him. Be strong in the faith just as you were taught and always be thankful. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 34, give thanks to God. He is good and his love never quits. Psalm 16 verses eight and nine, I am always aware of the Lord's presence. He is near and nothing can shake me. And so I am thankful and glad and I feel completely secure. Psalm 28 verse seven, the eternal is the source of my strength and the shield that guards me. When I learn to rest and truly trust him, he sends his help. This is why my heart is singing. I open my mouth to praise him and thankfulness rises as song. Psalm 50 verse 14, I am God most high. The only sacrifice I want is for you to be thankful and to keep your word. Psalm 103 verse 10, Thankfully, God does not punish us for our sins and depravity as we deserve. In his mercy, he tempers justice with peace. Psalm 118 verse one, Tell the Lord how thankful you are because he is kind and always merciful. Luke 6 verse 35, I am telling you to love your enemies and do good to them. Lend to people without expecting to get anything back. If you do this, you will have a great reward. You will be children of the Most High God. Yes, because God is good even to the people who are full of sin and not thankful. Acts 2 verse 46, they worshiped together regularly at the temple each day, met in small groups and homes for communion, and shared their meals with great joy and thankfulness. Romans 1 verse 21, For when they knew God, they neither glorified Him as God, nor were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart were darkened. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 and 2, Remember this, in the last days there will be many troubles, because people will love themselves, love money, brag, and be proud. They will say evil things against others and will not obey their parents or be thankful or be the kind of people God wants. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 5 verse 4, don't use dirty or foolish or filthy words. Instead, say how thankful you are. Philippians 1, 3 through 5, every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. Whenever I pray, I make my requests for all of you with joy, for you have been my partners in spreading the good news about Christ from the time you first heard it until now. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. With thankful hearts, offer up your prayers and requests to God. Then, because you belong to Christ Jesus, God will bless you with peace that no one can completely understand, and this peace will control the way that you think and feel. Colossians 3, verse 15. Let the peace of Christ, the inner calm of one who walks daily with him, be the controlling factor in your hearts, deciding and settling questions that arise. To this peace indeed, you were called as members in one body of believers, and be thankful to God always. Colossians 3 verse 16, let the message about Christ in all its richness fill your lives. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. Colossians 4 verse 2. Devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 3. We thank God for you always, and that's what we should do 
because you give us good reason to be thankful. Your faith is growing more and more, and the love that every one of you has for each other is also growing. 1 Timothy 4.4 4, For everything God made is good, and we may eat it gladly if we are thankful for it. 1 Timothy 2 verse 1 First of all, I ask you to pray for everyone. Ask God to help and bless them all, and tell God how thankful you are for each one of them. 1 Timothy 1 verse 12 I am thankful to Christ Jesus our Lord. He has given me strength. I thank him that he considered me faithful. I thank him for appointing me to serve him. 2 Timothy 1 verse 3, Night and day I mention you in my prayers. I am always grateful for you as I pray to the God my ancestors and I have served with a clear conscience. Psalm 44 verse 8, We boast about you, our God, and we are always grateful. Psalm 139 verse 14, I will offer you my grateful heart, for I am your unique creation filled with wonder and awe. You have approached even the smallest details with excellence. Your works are wonderful. I carry this knowledge deep within my soul. Hebrews 12 verse 28, We should be grateful that we were given a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And in this kingdom, we please God by worshiping him and by showing him great honor and respect. 1 John 4, verse 19. Our love for others is our grateful response to the love God first demonstrated to us. Hey! This has been Scripture Playlist from Deep Spirituality. You can find all the references for the scriptures we read today in the show notes, including the translations used. If you like what you heard, please leave us a nice review. If you have a topic you'd like to hear, you can email us at podcast at deepspirituality.com. 